Hi friends, it's Mrs. Gorski back. And today we're gonna to be doing a concept called making true equations. So basically what that means is both sides of the equation must have the same exact value. So whatever we get as an answer here should be exactly the same answer here. Not necessarily what is missing, but what the answer you get once we figure out what is missing. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing I want to do, I want to figure out the number sentence that is already fully there, because then that's going to help me figure out what is going to be missing in this spot. So we have three plus six. Three plus six, that's an easy peasy basic fact. That is going to be nine. So that's the answer on this side. So my end result here is not going to be nine here in the missing part. It should end up being nine here as my answer. So you have to ask yourself, 15 take away what number is going to give me nine? If you know those basic facts, perfect. Move right ahead and use those. If you don't, we could use a counting on approach in order to help us figure that out. So what we could do is take the lower number, count on to my higher number. That's going to help me figure out what is missing. Even though we're looking at a plus here, a minus here, it doesn't matter. It is still going to work out. I'm looking mainly for the answer at the end. So I'm going to take my nine. I'm going to count up to 15. I have my hundreds chart here just as a quick helper. So I have nine and I'm going to count on one, two, three, four, five, six, because I need to stop at 15 because 15 is right here. So that would be six. So 15 minus six would give me nine. So therefore, they are now true because both answers will be exactly the same. Answer of nine here, answer of nine right there. So let's go into our next one. So we have nine plus blank equals eight plus eight. Well, if you know your double stacks, eight plus eight, easy peasy again, 16. Now, nine plus what number is going to give me 16? So here we go again. If you want to do a count on method, we want to start with my lower number, which is here, which is nine. I want to count on to 16. Therefore, that's what's going to give me my missing number. So here we go again. Nine, and I want to count up to 16. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So therefore, nine plus seven is going to give me 16. So therefore, now those are true. All right, folks, hold on. I'm going to give us some more examples, and they're going to be a little bit more difficult. Okay, and we're back. So here we go. We have 25 plus blank equals 6 plus 20 plus 4. So as you can see, they're a little bit more lengthy. My number values are a little bit higher. Things are a little bit more difficult. I might have to take advantage of some other strategies that we've learned in order to help figure this out. So if I'm looking at six plus 20 plus four, I could go ahead and add that, but I think I might use my number string approach. If you remember number strings a long time ago, we would have to use certain steps in order to figure out something just like this. So if I'm looking, I could find a way to make 10. Six and four makes 10. Then I would have to add that 20. So 10 plus 20, totally mental math, that's going to give me an answer of 30. So I'm thinking now that has to be my answer over here. So 25 plus what number is going to give you 30 
that seems to be an easy peasy one, especially if you're skip counting by fives. If you're at 25, you skip count another five. That's what's going to get you to 30. So 25 plus five more. There's your 30. So now these are true. They are equal. Let's go to this one down here. This one looks a little bit more intimidating here. So now I have 43 plus 10 plus 20 equals 95 minus what? So this is really what I want to do. It's mainly a mental math problem here because I'm really only adding additional tens on. So if I want to kind of break it down a little bit, make it a little bit easier, a little less lengthy, I could do that. 43 plus 10 more. 43 up 10 is going to be 53. And I still have to add 20 more on. So 53 plus 20 is going to give me 53, 63, 73. So that's going to be your total for this side. So that's what I'm thinking. 95 minus what number is going to give me 73? So what I want to do now, I want to think and say, hmm, 73? And then I'm going to count up to 95. I'm still going to use that counting on strategy. Because when I take my answer here, because it is less, I want to count up to my bigger number, which is here. That should give me my missing number. So let's think about maybe using maybe an open number line. Let's try that strategy. We haven't seen that in a bit. Let's move this guy off to the side a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to get my open number line here. I'm going to start at a 73, and I want to go to a 95. And then how many hops I make is going to help tell me what my missing number is. So let's just jump right into skip counting by tens. So 73, 10 more is going to be 83. Can I go 10 more to 93? Yep. And then I only have to 95. So then that would be two more. So now I went from 73 to 95. So I have to add 10, 10, and two. 10 plus 10 is 20. 20 plus two more is 22. So that would be my missing number. But let's just double check and make sure 95 minus 22 is going to be 73. Let's make sure that they're true. So if I'm at 95, 95 is right here. I want to go up to tens because you know when you move on a chart and you want to subtract, you're going to be moving up. If it's two tens, two spots up. 10, 20, and then over two ones, one, two, there I am, I'm right at 73. So therefore, we're looking at equal, we are looking at true equations here. So boys and girls, I hope you liked our little lesson today on making true equations. Please take advantage and try to practice some of these at home. You can make them up all on your own. It's totally easy. You don't have to do something very expanded like this. You can keep it simple because that's the best place to start to practice. All right, my friends, I will be talking to you soon. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.